Hey Coach Colin Castell here again with ShotMechanics.com and welcome to NBA Shooting Secrets, Joe Johnson edition. All right, so Joe Johnson can flat out put the ball in the hole, and I think he's one of the most underrated scorers slash shooters in the NBA. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about three of the shooting mechanics that I absolutely love and that I think contribute to his success as a shooter. All right, so let's lead it off with the side set point. All right, so much like stars like Kevin Durant, Joe Johnson uses a bit of a side set point. That means that his shooting hand is more towards the middle of his head, that way he can see out of his right eye. I would guess that Joe Johnson's probably right eye dominant, and by moving the ball to the center of his head, it gives his right eye a clear sight path to the back. The thing that you have to be careful with this is sometimes that's going to give you a little bit of a chicken wing and cause your follow through to go out to the side. But Joe does a great job making sure his follow through guides the ball straight. So if you're having set point problems, try moving it over and see if it works for you. It just might. All right, so don't forget your dominant eye plays a major role in shooting. So we got to figure that out before you kind of know where the correct set point for you is going to be. All right, and the next mechanic I want to talk about is that Joe Johnson is a major tilt shooter. Let's take a look. All right, so Joe Johnson is one of the biggest tilt shooters in the NBA, meaning that when he shoots, his feet are tilted to the side. By tilting his feet, it alleviates tension in his shoulder and his neck. Check out on this next play. When he catches the ball, his feet are so tilted that they're pointing to the opposite sideline. You also notice many times when he shoots, especially off of the move, his right foot drifts forward and his left foot drifts back. Back. This drift allows him extra range and allows him to get his hip, shoulder, and shooting elbow all aligned with the basket. Check out on this shot how incredibly tilted he is. He lands and his feet are almost facing backwards. Now here's the absolute key to applying the tilt to your jump shot. You need to find out exactly how much of a tilt's comfortable for you. Some people, like Joe Johnson, have a lot of tilt, but other people find it more comfortable to just be slightly tilted. So play around with it and see how much of a tilt works for you. All right, so remember, tension is a jump shot killer. So by tilting the feet just slightly, some people like it more, some people like it less. You can alleviate a lot of that tension in your shoulder and it's gonna make your shot a lot more fluid. And next, I absolutely love his eye focus. I truly believe that your eyes are one of the most important things when it comes to targeting your shot. Joe Johnson is an absolute master getting his eyes up early and this is probably one of the reasons why he's such a good clutch shooter. Again, just like any hand-eye coordination sport, the longer you look at your target, the more accurate your shot's gonna be. Check out this quick pull-up. He knows he's gonna let it fly quickly and he gets his eyes on target as soon as he catches the ball. Many poor shooters in this situation won't find the target until the ball's above their set point. So that split second of extra aim is just enough to get Joe Johnson dialed in. Now I know you might be thinking, all right coach, that's cool you get your eyes up early, but what do you look at when you're targeting the basket? Now that really depends on personal preference, but here are a few of your options. Number one, a lot of people like to aim at the front eyelet of the rim. So no matter where they're at on the court, they're gonna find that front eyelet. Some people like the opposite of that where they find the back iron of the rim. And then some other people don't even like to focus on a specific spot, but more just the entire rim in general. Now all these methods work differently for different players, but I've found that my personal favorite and one that a lot of my athletes like to use is locating about two or three inches under the back of the rim. Now it's not quite as specific as maybe the front or the back iron. But what I like about it is if you shoot a perfect shot with the front iron, you're gonna hit the front of it. And same thing if you shoot a perfect shot at the back iron of the rim, if you hit it, it's not gonna go in. So if you locate two to three inches under the back of the rim, if the ball hits that spot, that's the sweet spot where it's gonna suck right down into the hoop. So practice finding different targets on the basket and see which one feels the most comfortable for you. Odds are you'll find one you like. So remember, it sounds so simple, but find that target early and often, and you'll probably see your shooting percentage increase right away just from that. All right, don't forget, if you're new to Shot Mechanics, you can join the Splash Army a couple different ways. Number one, hit that subscription button below because we put out about five videos every week that are gonna get you better, so I want you to get them. Number two, click this annotation up here or the link in the description, get a free copy of our top three favorite shooting secrets. These are shooting secrets that you can probably plug directly into your game and increase your shooting percentage overnight. All right, thank you so much for watching. Go get some buckets and splash on. <laughs>